guys, today I'm bringing you guys along with me. I'm gonna be eating out the entire day in Seoul and I'm gonna be trying new things. And we're starting off with this bakery over here for breakfast. Let's go! I don't know what Koreans eat for breakfast, but this bakery looks so good. Just have a look. So pretty! So I got this coffee. It's basically coffee at the bottom, cheese in the middle, and chocolate on top. It's a Mont Blanc and they told me not to stir it. I'm supposed to just drink it up like this. Oh, it doesn't taste like cheese. Pastries that I chose. Okay, I'm gonna try to cut this up, but there's a chance that I'm just gonna make a mess. <gasps> oh wow, guys. I'm gonna show you guys. Wow. First bite. Mm. Mm. Koreans do pastry so well. It's insanely good. Oh, give this 10 out of 10. It's that good. Alright. Oh, okay, next one. This looks really interesting. What? What is in here? Oh my god, I thought this was gonna be like a sweet pastry. It's savory. Like this ham, cheese, and asparagus in here or something? Dude, I got click click baited. <laughs> I got baited by this so hard, man. I'm either gonna love it or hate it. It's almost like a donut texture, you know? Let me try this cream. This is mayonnaise. It's not even cream cheese. I thought it was like custard or cream cheese. You think that this is um, icing sugar, right? But it's cheese. Oh! It's not asparagus, it's peas, but it tastes pretty good. This is oddly satisfying, but personally, I find it a little bit too sweet for my liking. Like, it's savory and sweet at the same time. Like when I eat savory food, I want it to be purely salty and savory. So it's not the worst, it's not the best. But this, on the other hand, mmm, mmm. This is really, really, really good. I feel like I'm hunching forward the entire time while I'm eating because I, I don't want to get it on my shirt. Anyway, so it's cherry blossom season, but I think we're at the end of the season, so I'm not sure whether I'm gonna catch any. But I'm gonna try my best today. <laughs> try my best. I'm only going going to go to one location, but hopefully, I see some cherry blossoms. And I've always wanted to see cherry blossoms because you only get to see that once a year. Only bloom for about seven days, and then it's just gone, gone for the year. So let's go. Let's hope that we see some cherry blossoms today. Guys, I definitely didn't plan this very well because I'm wearing high heel boots and I gotta climb all the way up to see Nam Sam Tao, which is up there. And that's where all the nice cherry blossom is. So I'm gonna, I think there's probably about a thousand steps right there. So I'm gonna try my best. Hopefully I can make it, but at least it will be a nice glute workout, right? Let's go. These steps are so steep. It's so scary with my heels. No, look, I can't even feet my feet. That's scary. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four. Is this worth it? This is worth it, right? So I've reached all the way to the top, it was hard. My, my quads and legs are okay, it, it was just my feet because this is a new pair of- Oh my god, I just scratched my boots. But yeah, it's really really pretty up here. Like, there's a lot of cherry blossom here but it's a lot of dead trees. But it's really pretty here and there's lots of people, it's just a really nice environment. Anyway, I'm gonna head down now. I'm going to go to the market now to have some food and I'm gonna take the cable car down. I had no idea there was a cable car so I walked all the way up with my heels. I am insane. <laughs> anyway, let's go. I don't want to be near all the oils because it terrifies me. I don't want to get burned again. It's just so scary. <laughs> all right, we got some snackies. This is a walnut cake. One of them is custard cake, cream cheese. It has a little bit of crunch from walnut. And then the custard in there is so, so nice. It's so creamy. Mmm. 
So six of these bowls are only 3,000 won. So it's about 50 cents each. Right. Pretty cheap. Let's go. I want to eat some real savory food. I could never eat a live octopus. That's just scary. I cannot. How do people do that? Apparently, it's stuck on your tongue, like inside your mouth. It's pretty scary. Ugh. I got my food. I got some noodles, some meat dumpling, and chicken pots. They're really affordable. Like these are seven dollars. That's six, and that's five. Yeah. This is nice because it's crunchy. Like there's some crunch in it. Also, the texture is not mushy. I don't really like mushy dumplings. Meat dumplings, my favorite. Mm. Okay, this is one good dumpling. I like the flavor. This is pretty crunchy inside here. And we got noodle. <laughs> That was too hot! I think my favorite is the shrimp dumplings followed by meat and then noodles. <laughs> They're all really good though. Mm. Definitely a good find and I prefer to come into this store. It was really crowded outside and I was also afraid of getting burned because they cook their food in front of me after being burned before. That's like one of my trauma. I, I stay away from hot boiling food. But I'm really lucky because this store is really good. I really like it. Okay, it seems like everyone's holding a pancake and I feel like I'm missing out. So I'm gonna give myself one. It looks so yummy! Look at it! Okay, let's eat. Nice chewy texture. So I'm not really sure what's in there. I think there's some red bean paste in there. Um, and the dough is made of rice and flour. Because it's quite chewy. So it has to be sweet potato and rice flour. It's really, really yummy though. I like it. Nasty so yo! Okay, I'm done with the market. It's getting a little bit crowded here. So I'm gonna do some shopping and then have dinner. I'll see you guys later. So what I noticed while I was walking on the streets of Korea is that they eat a lot of meat. If you're looking to have a high protein diet, Korea is a really good place. It's really perfect for me right now because I'm trying to build some muscles. I lost a lot of weight last year, like too much weight in my liking. So I'm trying to gain some bulk back. I can't wait to dig in because I have not had Korean barbecue in a long time. I really like the Korean barbecue restaurants that use charcoal. So grilled meat on a hot plate is just not going to be the same as grilled meat over charcoal. It just tastes a little bit more smooth and it's a lot nicer. My face is burning up. It's really hot. I'm glad I'm wearing little but you know like there's so many red stuff in Korea. Wearing white things is just not a good idea. I've stained a lot of my clothes so far. Our oh, meat is almost ready. I got two servings of pork belly and one serving of pork neck. I really like pork neck typically because they're not too fatty. Pork is ready. So we got some bean paste over here. I really like the sauce. Some sea salt, some chili, some wasabi, some shrimp, and some vinegar. This sauce is amazing. So this is how I built my samgyeopsal, cell. My well seasoned pork, some vegetables because I don't have kimchi, so this is all I have. Some rice. And then now I'm gonna roll it. This is like a little sushi. I'll bring my mom. I'm done eating and that was my full day of eating. Just so you guys know, Summer Shred is coming out in a few days. And also I've got tons of new features on my website. So if, if you haven't been using my new website at all, please try it out because there's new team challenges team chat so you guys can chat to your friends while doing the challenges and that's what you guys have been asking for i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll chat to you guys real soon and i'll see you guys in my next video bye